So here I have these five numbers, 9, 5, 10, 2, and 8. What I'd like you to do is to take a moment and sort these numbers in ascending order. OK, so I know how to sort these numbers in ascending order. First, I'll take the smallest number here and swap it with the first item in the list. Then I'll look to see if this is order. Yes, it is. And then I'll see these other numbers and take the smallest number and swap it out for this 10. And then is this the smallest number from here on? Yes. And there we go. We have the numbers sorted in ascending order. Here I have these five words. Defenestration, atrium, cesium, easy, and beehive. What I'd like you to do is to take a moment and to sort these words in ascending order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the item that I think should go with the first uh, element of the list and swap it with what is actually there already. So atrium should go first. And then once again, uh, what is the first thing that should go here? I think it should be beehive, so I'm going to swap these. OK, and then cesium seems to be in the right place. Therefore, here we have easy and defenestration. D goes before E. So there we have it. We have the list sorted in ascending order. And what that means for words is that they're ordered in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, and E. Now I have here these five trinkets. I have a Rubik's cube, a clock, a statue, a manatee, and a lamp. What I'd like you to do is, once again, take these trinkets and sort them into ascending order. OK, so obviously this manatee here is in the wrong order. It should really go at the beginning. So I'll take this and swap it out for the Rubik's cube. And there we go. The trinkets are sorted into ascending order. So you may be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, this is not how I sorted these trinkets. Or you may have thought to yourself, there's actually no obvious way to sort these trinkets at all. So how are you supposed to sort these trinkets? What I neglected to tell you is the criteria by which I sorted the trinkets, or rather, the key function. A key function takes arbitrary objects like these trinkets and maps the objects to something I already know how to sort. Let me take a look at this clock. On the face near the bottom, it says, made in Germany. So my key function will map the clock to Germany. Similarly, if I look at the manatee, it says Brazil. So I'll say that its country of origin is Brazil. Boom. And I'll do the same for the statue. It's from Greece. And the Rubik's Cube is from Hungary. And the lamp, which is from Wales. So you can see that my key function took, as input, a trinket, and output the trinket's country of origin. The country of origin is just a word. I already know how to sort words. Thus, the trinkets are sorted in ascending order by their country of origin. Brazil, Germany, Greece, Hungary, and Wales. So is that the only way I could have sorted these trinkets? Well, let's consider a different key function. Instead of sorting them by the country of origin, I could take these trinkets and measure them. My key function will be to measure the height of the trinket. So let's take this lamp and measure its height. So I'm going to say that that's about 22 centimeters. So I'll map the lamp to its height, 22 centimeters. Similarly, I'll do the same for the other trinkets. The manatee is approximately 5 centimeters tall. The clock is 9 centimeters tall. The statue is 25 centimeters tall, and the Rubik's Cube is 6 centimeters tall. So my key took these trinkets as input and mapped them to numbers. I already know how to sort these numbers in ascending order. So let's do it. So I'll look at these numbers, and from here I'll find the smallest one. So that's 5. That's in the right place. And then 
Once again, I'll find the smallest number here. So that would be 6. And I need to swap this with the 9 over here. So I'm going to take that and swap it out over here and put this back into place. OK, so we have these numbers left. Once again, I'll take the smallest number, so that's this 9, and I'll swap it out with the statue here. OK, 2 left. So now I'll take the smallest number, so that would be this 22, and I'll swap it out with this one. And there we go. We have a sorted list of trinkets in ascending order by height. When I apply this key function to each trinket, I get a list of heights. And it's by this list of heights that I get the trinkets sorted in this ascending order. The takeaway is that before you sort arbitrary objects, like these trinkets, you must first map the objects using some kind of a sorting key. In this case, I've sorted it into heights. But you could sort it into country of origin, into the name of the object, into the width of the object, the weight, etc. You must define a function that maps the objects to something you already know how to sort.